So we have our, uh, our competition electronics uh, Pro Chrono DLX here. Um, I'm gonna mess with it here a little bit and start some of the setup work. Uh, I've looked at the manual already. I obviously, I uh, always recommend if you have a manual to read it and uh, use it. There's a lot of good information in here. Um, so let's let's just have a look at it here. First thing is, uh, I'll, I'll probably kind of keep this um, as usual in a, in a semi-technical uh, manner just so people have additional information. That's the kind of stuff that I like to know before I buy something. So one thing that's interesting or that you might wonder about is the threads on this. Um, it is, I mean, it does say in the manual, but this is just a coarse quarter inch thread, okay? So like that's you know, sort of run of the mill. Uh, hex bolt and then the way I'm probably going to use this at least for now is going to be with this camera tripod mount um, you know so this is just a standard this is off of a standard camera tripod like you would use for photography or something like that um, and then also I have uh, I use them for like lasers and stuff uh, for construction equipment so the same kind of tripod um, and that thread works fine. So in my case, this adapter will, you know, will work good for what I'm trying to do. Let me go ahead and take it back off of there for now. Um, but you could use, you know, this bolt and, you know, a bolt like this if you wanted to mount it in a different fashion. So, well, let's check out the battery compartment here. open. I'm not going to get too crazy here with this. Break it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So here's the battery compartment. Um, it's more or less the, the standard nine volt uh, kind of configuration. Plenty of slack there, which is pretty cool for, for getting your battery in and out. It does have the spot for an additional battery. So nothing fancy here. We'll just go ahead and hook this up. That back in. Again, that is nice that there's enough cable there on the battery to be able to pull that out without straining it. Okay, so there's the front display. And we have an on-off switch. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, and, and we'll try to, yeah, on off. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I would imagine that connect light is for the Bluetooth feature. This has a Bluetooth feature, uh, either you know, for a computer or a mobile phone. So I would imagine when you're connected that that light will light up. So uh, the on off switch, and then again, the main display. So let's flip it on here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, and again, I'll do a little bit more uh, in depth on this as I start to use it, but I uh, just kind of want to give you guys an idea of the, the general features and the functions of it. Uh, so yeah, that seems to be working. I'll try it here uh, shortly. Um, so yeah, that's about all there is to it. It's pretty light. Um, and you can see the sensors and that sort of thing. So I'll keep messing with it here some. And uh, again, once I start using it, then it'll probably be a little more interesting. But uh, that's about what we have here uh, for now. Well, let's just go ahead and have a look at this. Now, I'll probably go ahead and use the indoor light kit on this. But uh, you can see like the light diffusers. So let's see how they work. We just oh yeah they just go in here so it just you know, kind of props up like so it's a little bit hard to see I have the camera but you get the idea so if I was outside or something like that and it probably would even work inside I may do some testing on that uh, actually I probably will do some testing on that because the light kit's a little bit expensive I mean it's not ridiculous but uh, it's around 50 bucks so if 
you don't, if I don't see much difference between having the diffusers on there and the, uh, the light kit, then I would recommend just using the diffusers, but I'll try to, to, um, uh, do a little bit of testing on that and see if it actually makes a difference. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, that actually seats down in. That's what I was kind of trying to get a feel for there. And you can see there's a diffuser right in front of us. So, um, let's have a, just a quick look at that. Uh, let's see what kind of width we get here. Curiosity. That's about like right there. It's about ten inches um, the window that you would shoot through. I mean, it's at the top here is uh, about twelve, but you know, where you would probably be doing most of your shooting or, or aiming through is it's about ten to ten and a half inches there. So. Okay, guys. Um, just a little bit more here and uh, we keep working on this and I think maybe we'll have a look here now at the uh, at the lighting system okay so here uh, I look at the lighting system um, this has an instruction sheet here nothing uh, too too fancy um, but uh, the idea here is is um, but, you know, the, the chronograph has, has light sensors, and I'll oversimplify it, but I'll just say that, you know, as, as something passes over the sensors, um, and it, it detects, the chronograph detects uh, you know, when that object passes across two different sensors and then does a calculation and tells you how fast, you know, a projectile's moving. So... Uh, light is a factor, so according to, you know, what I've read and the research I've done, uh, these uh, the light, inconsistent light can be strange and that sort of thing. So I just went ahead and invested in this uh, light kit. So basically what it does is it takes the place of the diffusers um, for indoor, which I'll be using it indoor and mostly. And I'll mostly be using it for archery, but also some firearms. But uh, most would be using it in my shop here. So just to, you know, kind of give an idea. So it just fits on there and, and instead of the uh, light diffuser. And then that'll mount to the chronograph. So let's, let's look it up here and see if it works. So again, power adapter. Uh, let's see what we have here. I'll read the instructions. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, let's see. I'm trying to tear anything up by trying to use this without uh, having it attached to the chronograph. Shouldn't, but. I guess you never know. Find out here. Okay, so this has a the adapter's like a Y cable. You can see it's got a little. Um, it's just kind of sort. Of, I wouldn't say it's a standard plug, but a uh, pin, you know, pin with a, uh, a sleeve kind of connector and then runs well, 120 so let's hook this up and see what happens yep okay so I get the uh, the red indicator on light uh, which is what it's supposed to be um, so I mean I'm, I have some natural sunlight coming in I don't see any um, like it's not obvious that there's light coming through there, so it's it's uh, maybe something that's actually triggered by the chronograph. I can see LEDs in there, so uh, yeah, we'll check it out here and see um, see what it does.
just noticed this is a pretty cool thing um, about this lighting system. Uh, it says there are ways, two ways to power the lighting system from a remote location. Um, if you don't have uh, 120 volt or it says 240 volt. Um, yeah, so you can use batteries. Uh, 20 to 24 DC power source, 20 to 24 volt, such as two 12 volt batteries. Uh, and then there's a diagram here. So uh, it does require a one amp fuse. And it shows you, you know, uh, it shows an example of how that could be done. So I just added that just because that's kind of an interesting thing that I didn't see in any of the, uh, the specs of the literature. You know, when I was looking at this.